Welcome to Zero Escape, Zero Time Dilemma. The first game of the three that I played when I first played the series. I think for those of you who know the series, can only fathom just how fucking confused I was when I played it. But despite that, I liked it a lot. Make it just a little quiet. Zero time dilemma. Zero time dilemma. I like fast. Spoken language English. Okay. Speaking of a cell. So let's go. Coincide. Or coincide? I don't know. We're just going straight into this. By the by. This game is done in a very different format. Who would do this? From the previous, though. It's not really a visual novel. What's wrong with you? So some text just kind of goes Someone's off on its mistake. own. A mistake? Maybe Diana's. This isn't the time for jokes. Let me guess. That helmet can't come off, can it? So creepy. <laughs> Your time was 50 hours? Me. Dang. <laughs> Where the hell did this thing come from? Also, it's just go. Get it. Shouldn't we be trying to get out of here? Impossible. This is a confinement room. The bar is only open from the other side. Nothing to do but ask whoever did this to let us out. The mastermind's right there! That kid locked us up! So he was the one who put these on us? Marsard. It... Yep. <laughs> it wasn't me. It talks! Like all the rest. Don't you think there are moments when a single snail can make a world go extinct? Man, I turned the BGM extinct. I turned the BGM down, and it's still so loud. I'm sure you'll determine that eventually. Why are you doing this? I require a volunteer to take part in a game. A game? With the fate of you, me, and the human race in the balance. Fuck that! Let's get started, shall we? Do I remember? No, Val, I need to pay attention. Beneath my foot, there's a coin. One side of it is red, while the other side is blue. Which side of the coin is facing up? Make a guess. However, you only get one chance. Do we get something if we get it right? You're afraid of I promise that I will release all of you. And what if we're wrong? You won't lose. You will have to stay in the game until at least six of you are dead. What? 
Let's go with blue. It's red. Right, red. It's gotta be red. 50-50 chance. And the odds for each are the same. Then we should vote. Wait! I can't believe you guys. Akane's right. You're just going to do what he says? What do you think, Carlos? You are the leader of this group. Their faces are weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, their faces. What are you talking about? I'll let Carlos choose. Pick red. It's blue. So what do you say, Carlos? I... No, Carlos! Don't answer him! I, I love how this game just goes. There is no, like, setup. It's just go. You are that solitary snail. The fate of the world rests on your decision. <sighs> it was blue. Blue. Yep. So, uh, who was it who said it was red again? Hmm. Well done, Carlos. You thought you were right no matter what Are the first time? Kind of nope. The it's coin is not. always blue. I had a 50% chance. It's not too hard to get it right. Hey, hold on a sec. Okay, sure, you lucked out with your guess. But what if you had gotten it wrong? What does it matter? Everything worked out fine. So, are you going to make good on our deal? Fear not. I'm a fair person. It's weird because, <coughs> like, a lot of other decision stuff in this game has RNG to it. But not this first one. This first one, no matter what, the coin is blue. forget hmm. I wonder pleasant dreams I know you're what happens next is funnier if it's the first thing you see yes and guess what? It's really easy to tell that the coin is blue because he steps on it before it can flip back over to red and it zooms in. So imagine the. Imagine what happened when we were like, the coin's blue! <laughs> on top of the fact that we had never played either of the games before it! on why are we outside i have no clue where's my when jacket I woke up, we were on the ground over there huh what is it didn't we all have something attached to our left wrists hmm uh, i suppose we might have coin huh nothing just saw an image of a coin flash in my mind. It was flipped and falling. Ah, uh, come to think of it. Damn, I, I can't remember anything. Me neither. Neither can I. Shh. It's okay. Feels like. like I made a bet with someone, but. Someone? What kind of bet? <laughs> Did yep. <laughs> we all forget what happened? Hey, uh, could I ask all of you something? Who is this Jumpy kid? forgot he was right, that's sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
That's an emote. We did it, guys. We beat the game. I hope you enjoyed Zero Time Dilemma. Want me to throw the toy? Welcome back. We beat the game. <laughs> <laughs> you missed everything. What do I score it? The best game I've ever played. I picked blue. <laughs> Hello, Day Nightfall. Okay, plot summary. Uh, we were all locked up in a room, and a guy showed up and said, Hey, I'm gonna flip a coin if it's red or blue. If you get it right, I'll let you out. And if you don't, uh, you have to keep playing a game until six people die. And we got it right. So we... Nobody died. Best ending. <laughs> That is amazing! <laughs> anyway, enough of that. Oh, I can't actually skip this because this is the first credits. I'm gonna refund that because I already took a break. Nobody redeemed it last time, but I already took a break. Look at these team managers. This is actually good because now I can eat my food for a little bit. Let me try. Like, maybe I need to press a button. Oh, enter. Oh. 11 minutes, 31 seconds. Oh. <laughs> yeah, continue the story. Because that's the thing. It's like... And then there's the flowchart mode, but it's like... We can go faster. Time for ch you. I have to hold it down. Alright. Aren't all endings canon in this game? Uh, in all three games. Every ending is considered canon because it's a- it exists in order for the other to exist. It's red. No, it was blue! Fuck! See? Told you it was blue. Shut up, Junpei. <laughs> Carlos, you asshole! You got it wrong! Carlos. What were you thinking? Shut wait, up, wait Sigma! Second. Carlos isn't the one to be blamed for all this. Right. The person who started it is... This guy. So? What now? You should know already. You were wrong. So the game continues. Until six people are dead, huh? Eric, you said red because Mira said red. Yeah, but he wasn't the one who had to decide, so it's not his fault. <laughs> Just because he was wrong doesn't mean that he's guilty. <laughs> That's Eric logic. Why don't we hurry and get this over with then? Before you begin, I'm going to give all of you to go to sleep. 
sleep? When next you wake. Still think these models look better than Virtue's Last Rewards. Forget? But this oh, game was... No uh, they have the thick black lines, I think, because that's just like a 3DS thing. It just happens. It's stylized. Well, the game beginneth for real this time. Ah, here's the intro. Also, some of the concept art makes me think that they couldn't figure out long sleeves that were, like, baggy, because Junpei totally 100% has a bomber jacket in all of his artwork, but his 3D model is jacketless. <laughs> it's like, damn it, that guy in the Plague Doctor mask fucking stole my jacket! I like that! I want it back! <laughs> Give it to me! And well, it's a nice jacket, I will say. Wait, Junpei is in this game. <laughs> I've said his name a handful of times. Why does Junpei have purple hair? It's stylist choice, stylistic choice, I think. Carlos, Carlos. Akane. Bastard! What the hell's going on? You brought all of us here! No! It's not me! Then what the fuck is that stupid thing on your head? Let it go, Eric. No need <coughs> to take it all out on the pit. Mira? I wonder what this is. Oh. <sighs> Give it up, Diana. It's better that you don't force it off. Why do you say that? You should listen to her. I get the feeling she's seen it before. Bracelet. That's what it was called a year ago. Right, Akane? Junpei. Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling? Mm, bad. Who's this? Don't know. I am Zero. Oh. The second Zero. Shit. The second? Let me make one thing clear. This is a recording. So don't bother asking questions as I cannot answer them. I'd like to tell you an old story. Seventeen years ago, on a rainy morning, a woman went jogging in a large park. Her usual route led her to a park in the road. Normally, she'd run down the right path. But for some Ouch. reason, this day, she chose the left. Along the way, she bumped into a senior citizen she saw every day. Surprised to see her, I asked, Why did you come this way today? This was her reply. Because in due time, in due time. Her body was discovered a few hours later. Murdered. They found her in some bushes along the left path. Sometimes, life is simply unfair. Don't you think? What the hell is all this nonsense? It's the same for all of you. The pull of an unjust fate carried you along to this moment. Only to find yourselves in this bomb shelter, 50 meters below ground. Wait, what? As you can see, this place is divided into three sections. Carlos, Akane, and Junpei. You three are in Ward C. You will henceforth be referred to as C Team. Your leader shall be Carlos. Next is Q, Mira, and Eric. You are located in Ward Q. Your name will be Q Team. Zero the second is a pretty good zero. There's not really much. I mean, zero the first, honestly, is like. Is this a joke? Yeah. And finally, Diana, Phi, and Sigma. Ward D is where the three of you are. Diana is the leader. That makes you the D team. You may wander as you like. As long as you remain within your respective wards. There is a time limit, however. 90 minutes. 
Once 90 minutes are up, an injector in your bracelet will activate. Rabbit is very fun. Rabbit is indeed quite fun. Memory erasing drugs? As a result, you'll all fall into a deep, uninterrupted sleep. Must be a massive dose of soperol. What? The bracelet has an additional function. A watch. Pressing the buttons on each side simultaneously will display the time. Hmm. Well, ten. Today is December 31st, New Year's Eve. The year turns over in less than half a day. Unfortunately, very few of you will find yourselves able to welcome a new 2029. Take a look at the door. It's clearly marked with an X. Beyond this X door is a hallway with an elevator. Riding the elevator up will take you above ground. Simply obtain the X passes and enter them into the input device beside it. Six X passes are needed for it to unlock. One X pass will be announced every time someone dies. <coughs> the Chica in the red jacket. You mean Mira? Blunter terms. If six of you die, the rest will gain all of the passwords and will be able to open the X door. This is bullshit. One caveat. The door remains open for only 30 seconds. Once that passes, it will automatically close. And never open again. Oh yes. With this information, surely some of you at this point are thinking, How can I kill six <coughs> people? What? No one would... I'll give you one opportunity. By majority vote, determine one team to execute. What? Do you see the computer at the corner of the room? The team names of your newfound enemies will be displayed on that monitor. Choose the team you've decided to eliminate. Each team gets one card. The leader must submit it for the group. Your deadline is 13.30. Any team that hasn't voted before the time limit is up shall be penalized two votes. The group of two or more votes will lose. Every member of that team will be executed. Let us begin. This is the decision game, a game of fate. The lives of you, me, and the human race hang in the balance. This game is cool. I do like this game a lot. What am I gonna do without my notes? Ah, whose team do we start? C, Q, or D? See? I mean, we could start with familiar faces, some familiar faces, or strangers. Q is all strangers. Well, I guess some familiar faces here. Diana and Carlos are the only- t are- the faces of these are- yeah. All of you guys are choosing different things. <laughs> I'm gonna start with D-Team, mostly because I think I know the order for this. Yeah, each image you see here is a story fragment. Only one is available to you now, but more will unlock as the story unfolds. Select any unlock fragment to continue the story. Oh yeah, this doesn't have, um, PC controls in mind, so everything is gonna display as, um, controller. But everybody has a decision, but I do believe D-Team is one, the one who comes up with this. After that, though, it's like... Uh, uh. <laughs> or no, it is C-Team that comes up with this. Oh, well, it's whatever. We'll all see it eventually. I want to kind of juggle them all instead of doing most of one before moving on. Hate 
oozes calamity. Hmm. Yeah, let's so, see. Because I just remembered. Hate becomes calamity, huh? I wonder what that but means. hey, we saw a bunch me. of Phi and Sigma. Let's, let's see some more of them. Meaning. Huh? It's an anagram. You reorganize the letters into another sentence. Why do you think it's an anagram? I've seen something like this before. In another place. In another time. Anyway, what are you doing over there, know. Sigma? <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? A box. box. Uh, rub the box. box. <laughs> well, I'm looking into it because I don't know. You're okay, Val. It looks like something's written on it. Force quit box. Hmm. That's interesting. I see a keyboard on it, too. Use this keyboard to input a password and force something to stop. Is that what this means? What does it stop? Well, the obvious answer would be the game Zero is making us play. Then we should try it. Shouldn't have thought it would be that easy. We need a hint. Oh yeah, also Maybe it's all text advances up. automatically, so Nope. Won't budge. Is it heavy? Heavy doesn't even begin. Oh my place. god, that chest. <laughs> what an angle. Well, it's like the meme. There, Before the say? meme became a thing. Just give it there a is backlog, you're right. You weren't lying. See, I told you. This is the map for Ward D, right? Looks like it. Map of Ward D, sword in file. And we can go wherever we want so long as it's within this ward? Yes. That's what Zero said. Prep room. Decontamination room. Door is very welded shut. Healing room. Transporter room. One of these things is not like the other- well, maybe not, because manufacturing is here too. <laughs> Trash disposal room. <laughs> Hello, Jeffo. Again. Locker all room. Right. We've checked all the rooms from top to bottom, but... You didn't find any exits? Obviously. We are in a bomb shelter, after all. If there were several exits, it'd defeat the purpose it was built for. So Zero told the truth. And opening the X door is the only way out. I wouldn't have done that because you probably got spoiled, Day Nightfall, but so long as you don't share it here. Mira! Eric! Can you hear me? Call Why? Me. Who are you calling Connor. Wendy? Tenmyoji. Diana? There's no point. We wouldn't hear a drunk toga party at full volume on the other side. <laughs> I think we need six passwords to get this door to open, right? The girl in red. Yeah, ah. That X pass thing. For every one person who dies, Kay. one password will be revealed. Yeah, looking up voice actors can be can be scary because if it Sigma. gives you all Why the voice actors, it will definitely I politely but firmly refrain. It will definitely I tell you things Diana. that you're not Kay. supposed to know because it's telling you all the voice no. actors. Figured. What's up? Boo Zero. Sorry, I didn't mean to put that on your lip. Do you guys know who Zero is? No, I haven't the foggiest. But they called themselves Zero. At the very least, they know about what happened a year ago. Okay. What are you? There's one more thing for sure. Think about it. Why was Zero's speech to us pre-recorded? 
There's got to be a very big reason why things can't be in real time. There are two possibilities. They've already bit the bullet. Or... Zero is among us. We'll help come. The way Sigma talks! <laughs> Uh Who? Maybe the decom experiment staff? Sorry, but that's pretty unlikely. Remember? The staff stationed in decom can't communicate with us right now. The simulation is attempting to stay true to an actual Mars mission. It's at least six months between Earth and Mars. Nope. Time period, He's Earth been mercered. Halfway around the sun. Which means... By the time the spaceship reaches Mars, the Earth is behind it. The star in the way, we can't send a signal. That's the lead up. We've been doing experiments for the past five days. Transmissions will reestablish on December 31st at 2330, which leaves us with more than 10 hours. There's no point in hoping for a rescue to come before then. Pretty sure the DCOM staff won't notice any problems until that time. You guys are like siblings. You're totally in sync. <laughs> they just look at each other. The way Sigma talks. This may be somewhat rude of me to say, but the way you talk, Sigma, is um a little unusual. Remember, I played this game first. <laughs> the age of his mind and his body are completely And they just different. tell her mentioned that back at decom that his consciousness had come back from the year 2074 that's correct that's why i know what will happen in the future I must have spent the past five days warning all of you if nothing changes mankind will be destroyed kane fi and i infiltrated decom to stop all that from happening Fi, is this true well would you believe me if I said that it was. Then why are all of us trapped in this strange place? Do you know the future? It's a good summary, kinda, yeah. We had no idea what events went down inside the decom facility. Nor did we know anything about what's going to happen in this shelter. Valva Torres from Disgaea 4. In all instances in which he shows up as a DLC character or has a side story where he speaks for more than like one or two lines of dialogue, where it was formerly Troy Baker in Disgaea 4, he is Matthew Mercer. Oh, right. You did say you were a nurse. I joined the decom experiment because Rebecca suggested it to me. She told me that they were searching for a nurse willing to participate. To be honest, there is another reason why I decided to join. Gab! Why is Gab? Gab! I think he came through the vent. Hi, Gab! No, it's too dark. You're up, Fi. You want me to go in there? It's clearly impossible. You sure? I won't repeat myself. Um, my boobs are D's. Your pants are on fire. It's true. It seems to me they've gotten a full size larger than the last time you told me. It's been 45 years. Growing is natural. You were just sleeping. Um, could I interrupt? What is this? Is that a coaster? Gab! Gab the dog! Something's written on it. Hello, Carlos here. Val, shush! Is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. And someone else wrote. Q team, got it. I get it. Hold on a second, 45 the years? The yeah, the second they game, Jeffo. <laughs> Their consciousnesses are from 2074, which is when VLR takes place. So while 2028. Uh, Carlos and Fi are playing Virtue's Last Rewards game. 2074, Carlos, or not Carlos, uh, Fi and Sigma are playing this. 
Yeah, VLR is in the future. Oh yeah, I've got to vote. We don't have much time. What am I we voting for? Over to the voting device. Also, I like Diana's skirt. It's a nice skirt. What exactly did you mean earlier, Fi? I'm saying it could be a lie. Do you mean that Q team is planning to betray us? No, I don't. Vote for who you want to die. They, they all have to die eventually. <laughs> They'd only have to decide to vote for D-Team. Then you mean... There's a chance that C-Team will betray us. Maybe they're saying they'll vote for D-Team, but actually vote for Q-Team. Why would they do that? To make us choose Q-Team. If you think it's a good idea to spread out the votes, then your choice is easy, right? I'm just saying. It's a possibility. What should I do? The fact that Gab showed up means that we can assume Q team's voting for C team. So we have no choice but to choose Q team. Otherwise, our single vote could cause the death of all of C team. Do we? F do we agree? Do we vote Q? And then the third one go the opposite way. Like this on the third vote, we just kill somebody. Yeah. Which means it might be I I might be making Carlos kill somebody. Oops. <laughs> Because if they all disagree, because that's the thing that's that's obviously, it'll keep your vote. Well, that was a good choice. It'll keep your vote choices. Okay? So if everybody doesn't so obey what no the choice. coaster says, oh, nobody dies anyway. Because <laughs> it just means that everybody didn't agree and chose the opposite of what they said. Ninety minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you awake. And I'd like to get all of those deaths out of the way anyway. They're all basically the same, somewhat. Q team or C team? Who whoever goes last is the one that uh that commits the first murder. I... We have to vote for who dies if it's a three-way tie, everyone lives. Yeah, that's what's happening, Jeppo. See you for Chad. See you for Carlos. Chad Los. <laughs> Prep room. Decontamination room. Control. Yes. The nine people participating in this game are separated into groups of three. They are in order of the teams displayed left to right, with their team leaders being first named. Carlos, Junpei, so and Akane in C team. Yes. Q, Eric, and Mira in Q team. And Diana, Phi, and Sigma in D team. It's just as Zero said, huh? 
They, the teams no cannot interact with each other. The they are stuck in a specific ward that m that's labeled Don't according to their team name. How can we not? If we refuse, C team gets two votes automatically. We'll die. But hey, do we just interacted with each other. I mean, like the teams can't interact with other teams. Nope. <laughs> what? Why? That mask guy called himself Zero. I have no clue why he's here, but he's for real. So that means he's actually willing to kill off a whole team? Yeah. But how? He said that there's an anesthetic in our bracelets, right? So we'll be sleeping and then bam. Or maybe. True, the dog note. There's a bunch of different ways. We can only interact with each other through Gab. <laughs> through Gab notes. Messenger dog. Why would you need to reach them? What, you're planning on begging them not to vote C-Team or something? Well, no, but I thought, why not spread out the votes? What do you mean? Remember what Zero said? The group with two or more votes will lose. I get it. Maybe C team could vote for D team, D team for Q team, and Q team for C team. Then all the teams would have one vote each. And that'd make it a three way tie. A and no one would have to die? But how do we make sure they know to do it? Telepathy. If only. Hey, Mira! Eric! Diana! Sigma, can you hear us? Uh, it's not working. Damn it. Hey, Akane, uh, why don't you try using the morphogenetic field? <laughs> that face. <laughs> morphogenetic field? <laughs> not telling, sorry. <laughs> Let the game end where I treat too. What's this supposed to mean? The game will end and something about two people i guess the tough part is figuring out treat if it's like trick or treat then maybe it means there's a reward or a gift or something but it could also mean treatment which would imply being cared for either way it doesn't make sense hey uh, anyone know what this thing could be a box what's inside of it maybe some kind of white smoke a tomate baco You've heard of it, Carlos? Urashima Taro, right? Japanese folklore. Something about jumping through time, I think. This label says Force Quit Box. What's that? Looks like there's a keyboard. The keys aren't labeled. Your one those weakness. Ah! <laughs> if you punch it in? But what, though? Maybe the game Zero's making us play. Wait, wait. You really think Zero'd put something that easy here? Seems like it wouldn't even have to be a box for that. Didn't think it'd work. Just pressing random buttons isn't going to. Oh, solve the it. hair! And then Junpei oh. disrespecting what furniture what by sitting on the coffee Maybe table instead of on the couch the across table. from them. <laughs> No, we still have some time. Come on, man, you're supposed to be the leader here. The game will the the game will tell us as time wears on. How the hell did we get into this mess anyway? Do you guys have any ideas? Oh, Zero. Who is Zero? Uh, to be accurate, you should probably ask who is the second Zero instead. Then that means there has to have been a first one, right? Yeah, there is. You know him? Sorta. I brought it up earlier. A bracelet a lot like this one has been strapped to my wrist before. It happened last year. Akani and I were trapped somewhere. The person responsible back then was named Zero. But I don't think that one has anything to do with this one. It's gotta be connected. Just please. Believe me. She's right.
What's Zero's purpose? What's your relationship? I forgot he asks that. <laughs> make us play a game, right? this decision game or whatever. With the fate of mankind on the line. So it's true. Do you know something, Akane? I think if we end up losing this game, we're all going to die. Six billion people will. So what Sigma said back then up in DCOM was... At this rate, six billion people will die. I don't know anything about- Actually, you'd be yes. surprised. <laughs> what Sigma said is the truth. Have you ever heard of- Have you- Reverend <laughs> What causes it is unknown. <gasps> Neither the nerves nor the brain have abnormalities. But somehow, this disease causes you to stop reacting to a variety of stimuli. I've heard there are people from all over the world who have become affected by this. Hey, hold up. How does this and what we were talking about before go together? Shouldn't you know already? Huh? A crisis. Mankind is currently facing what is clearly an unprecedented crisis. Those affected are sensing it's coming. Reverie Syndrome. You've heard of it? Yeah. Kinda. Anyway, what's your relationship? <laughs> Akane Kurashiki. Junpei Tenmyoji. You're both Japanese, right? Yes. And you both lived in Japan when you were kids. You even went to the same school. So <laughs> you Junpei. Who told you that? Sigma. He mentioned it back in DCOM. We all lived in close quarters in that facility for five days. Information spreads fast. So, whose idea was it for you to join? Huh? The DCOM experiment. You two signed up together, right? No, we didn't. We did this on our own. Wait, you're telling me you guys just happened to bump into each other at DCOM? It wasn't a coincidence. It was inevitable. Why did you subject yourself to this circus? I didn't mention it before. I... Well, I kind of really need a lot of cash. They said they'd give us 500,000 if we joined up. Huh. Color me surprised. Thought a hero of justice had no need of money. A what? Didn't you say you're a firefighter? A really good one? You faced off against danger and saved a whole bunch of people. Sounds like a hero to me. I just have good instincts. Doesn't seem to matter where I find myself. They're pretty good at telling me which path has death at the end. Cool, mine are terrible. I've died so many times. I'm glad you're the leader. I'd be getting us killed constantly. And Carlos is just like, huh? Do you hear something? <laughs> Over there. Gab! Looks like you made it here using this vent. Does that mean it's connected to the surface? Hmm, I don't think so. A vent to the surface would defeat the purpose of a bomb shelter. So he came from another ward then. It's too dark, I can't see anything. But Ward Q is down that direction, right? Think you can fit in there, Akane? Uh, no, there's no way. Someone likes cake too much. Oh, I know. Let's cut off Junpei's arm. He should be able to fit through then. Huh. Hey, Mira! Eric! Nothing to say to that. No, Eric. I like her! <laughs> you, you don't understand that. She's always yeah. been like that. <laughs> they steal you away from DCOM too? But why the Pet dog? Pet the dog. <laughs> Maybe they felt bad about leaving him alone up there? Baloney. You really think Zero do us any favors? Hold on. I think I got an idea that may work. This here, this case, it holds medication, doesn't it? Uh-huh. It's empty. Did that bastard Zero take the meds? I still think this could work. We can use it. Wait a sec. 
Do -do 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 -do. Their walk cycles are great. <laughs> a beer coaster and a pen. I found them on the counter of the bar. But there's something written on it. Oh, uh, I did that. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. Oh, you're going to put it in the case and have Gab go through the vent. Cross your fingers he can get to Q team. You really think it'll be that simple? So we shouldn't? Well, I guess we don't have anything to lose. Why don't we give it a shot? Yeah, I found it like that. <laughs> Go, Gab! Onward! What did you throw? Cheese. Picked it up at the coaster. It was over there on the counter. Why don't we just toss in some ketchup and pickles, too? Maybe next time he comes back, he'll be a hot dog. <laughs> I love that fucking face. He's like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> he looks so offended. <laughs> Terrible joke. Five minutes left. Uh, Gab's not come back. Let's just vote, Carlos. Like I said, if we force- <laughs> I know! Hey, there's one thing we can do. What is it? You remember what you wrote on the gab letter. The gab uh, letter. <laughs> what? The message we sent the furry pigeon to deliver? <laughs> the gab letter. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. Yeah. So what? So vote for Q team instead. What? Junpei, you can't be suggesting. If we do that, they'll end up with two votes and. Yep, Q team will be out. Granted, this whole thing is assuming our initial plan works. The note makes it to D team and Diana votes the way we want her to. Think about it for a second. Six people have to die or we're never getting out of this bomb shelter. Those are the rules of the decision game according to Zero. Balancing the votes won't do us any good. We'll just end up falsely prolonging someone's death. Junpei. The deadline to vote is in three minutes. Come on, Carlos. Vote for Q-Team. No, you can't! Oh, what the fucking faces! Ah! <sighs> Sorry, Junpei. You said uh, I. You already told me that your instincts for self-preservation are bad. So I'm going to. Ch I'm not going to follow your advice. We'll see, Akane. Just because we did what we said we would doesn't mean this will work. Hell, we don't even know if our note reached the other teams or not. And even if it did, he was right about no blue. You're yeah, right. He was right about blue. Damn it! <laughs> will come out Shit! I should have voted for Q team. <laughs> will die, or it's our heads on the chopping block. Ninety minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well. As the next game will begin when you awake. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the cranium. When you next wake, those who survive will be able to regret the decision. As all members of a single team will perish as a result of the note you enter. Pleasant dreams. Execution, Q. On to the next one! Got the prep room. 
Got the decontamination room. The quantum computer dome. Every bomb shelter has one, don't worry. The pod room. That's also important. And of, now, and of course, yes, the bio lab. Every bomb shelter has these things. You've... <laughs> There should be another room around here somewhere. Uh, let me see it. Uh, hey! Shut up. Cue for quantum. Right to see it too. <gasps> Hello, Mira. Thank you. Map ward Q, sword and file. It's pretty pointless to hang out here kicking our heels. Let's go back to the lounge. What is this? Let's inhibit the virus. Maybe someone's gonna remove or control some kind of virus. Virus? What virus? Um, about the vote? What will we do? Don't ask me. But if we don't do it, doesn't that mean we'll die? Yeah. Even if C team voted for D team, and D-Team did the reverse. If we refuse, then we get two votes against us automatically. And Q-Team would be killed. I suppose that's true if this game Uh, just call him the Ice Cream Man. So you're saying it's a joke? Don't you think that would make a whole lot more sense? I will give you that. We'll probably pop through that door over there yelling surprise. Oh, <laughs> I get it. You're right. Then him being here makes sense now. I bet that means you're part of the whole surprise. Mm. No. Come on. Take off that helmet. I can't. Huh? I said I can't take it off. Damn, brat. Stop bullshitting me. Damn, brat, I'll sue. <laughs> uh, you'll break my neck. Damn. It's really on there. Wait. I see something on the side of this thing. the hell? Isn't it a password input? Does that mean the helmet comes off with the right numbers? Or maybe his head will explode. Uh, hey! Really? Who are you? I don't know. I don't remember. I woke up and I was here. Are you saying you have amnesia? Um, maybe... <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Could I ask you something? What? Who is Zero? I was wondering, um, who is Zero? Oh, come on! Stop playing! You know everything, don't you? I told you, I don't... So you're gonna stick with the idea that this isn't some big surprise? I don't know. I don't remember anything. If this isn't a joke, then things are really serious. Then you're saying one of the teams is actually going to be executed? But why would someone do that? Zero said it's a game. So then he's a psychopath. Yes. <laughs> Zero guy's probably off somewhere enjoying seeing us freak out. He could be that serial killer in the news. That's that heart ripper, yeah? Yeah. Rumor is they killed 18 people, all in the past few years. The digital root of 18 is 9! <gasps> okay. March 15th, 2026. The body of a young female was found in a park in Roseville. The victim's name was Virginia Bailey, age 28. The chest was ripped open and the heart entirely removed. It happened again on May 22nd, 2026. The body of a male was found in a trash can near a residence in Sacramento. The victim's name was Jeffrey Foray, age 37. His body was just like Virginia's, with the heart completely gouged out. Two months later, on July 29th, 
Hey, wait a minute. Don't you have amnesia or something? Why do you know all this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know why, but I knew. You gotta be kidding me. Where are we? <laughs> I was wondering, where are we? Weren't you listening to Zero earlier? We're 50 meters underground in a dwarb. <laughs> I know that, but where exactly? Uh, who's dwarb? We're very far from DCOM. Uh, DCOM, dwelling for the cohabitation of Mars. So it's an experiment to see if we could survive. Guy with the beer. Oh, Eric. Uh -huh. Okay. We all lived together in that compound dwarb. for five days. <laughs> C team and D team were there too. Oh, and there was a dog. It was incredibly old. Gab. I think his name was Gab. But not you. You weren't there. It's very suspicious. Succubus. Oh, what were they testing for? <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no, that's mean. So how would that mess with the subjects mentally? That was what they were trying to investigate. Oh, what made you sign up? Hmm, tough question. It seemed like it'd be kind of fun, I guess. Eric? I joined because Mira wanted to. That's it? Well, maybe not entirely. What's your relationship? Mira. Boobs. Eric. Beer. What's going on between you two? Going on? Uh... Uh, well, are you in love? Idiot! No, uh, we're not. We're not. Uh, well, well, we're not. Not, but. <laughs> Wait, what? You know, I've been trying to figure something out for a while. What is this thing? Maybe it's a gift from Zero. Uh, so, what, you think there's assorted teas inside? Gifts don't have to be a good thing, do they? Hey, what the hell? Stop! What if it's some kind of bomb? A bomb? Mm, I don't think it is. Oh, something's on the back. Um, I think this is upside down. So, this would be the front. Force quit box? I guess it stopped something. Look, there's also a keyboard. Looks like you're supposed to input a code of some kind. And if we get it right? Then something will be forced to end? But what? Maybe... Your life. What was that sound? It came from that way. Oh, let's go! Gab! How did you... You came through the vent. The helmet or whatever it's is really not, creeping you out. Anything. It's... I mean, what he doesn't want it on either. I can't. Just do it, will ya? <laughs> See? You didn't have this stupid thing on your head. Hey, check this out. There's something inside the case. Is that a coaster? Oh, there's something on it. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. What does this mean? Don't you Irony. <laughs> They're saying to spread the votes. Huh? I know he doesn't want to have it on either, but still. I get it. If each team ends up with The crackle on the bottom, I always the thought kind of made it look like he had a smile. Executed. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, now we have a plan. Let's do it. Um, but wait. Why should we wait? Well, what if this message hasn't been delivered to D-Team yet? You're right. The position of this vent does imply it only connects toward C. I doubt Gab's made his way toward D yet. We need to figure out how to notify D-Team then. Hold on a sec. I'll get a pen and cheese. There was some at the bar, right? A pen? 
and cheese. Shove Eric through the vent. What exactly are you doing? Oh, I get it. If Ward C and Ward Q have connected vents, then Q and D are probably connected as well. Yep. We just need to take the cheese and... Go, Gab! It's all on you, Gab. Think it'll work? I'm sure it will. Five minutes. It was very dense one. cheese. I wonder if Gab made it to Ward D or not. Even if he did, who knows if Diana will vote the way it says in the note. What? You think she'll betray us? It's not outside the realm of possibility. I don't even want to consider the alternative. Which is? That the whole letter from C Team is a trap. Anything about how old ah. Gab is? It does say that Gab is a very old dog. But maybe Carlos is planning to vote for Q Team instead. Not really a specific hey, age, but that now. he is quite That's an elderly good. dog. At all. You said it. If I'm right, then we need Diana to do the opposite of what it says. What? But... The deadline to vote is in three minutes. The vote has to be decided by the leader, but... What should we do? We don't have time for a committee. Then we'll just have to use force. Uh, hey, wait! Probably. Could be older. Dogs could live that long. Alright, they were the last ones, so sorry about that. <laughs> sorry, C-Team. <laughs> You're dead. Goodbye. Your vote has been Get wrecked, C-Team. Following the note, huh? Oh, wait. Uh, I guess it's fine. It's not like it was a bad choice. Shit! I thought it was always the right one. Exactly Carlos and Diana Shit, do. well, alright. If this plan doesn't work, I didn't mean to do that. Two outcomes that could happen. I thought it was always the, the one on the right. Died. My bad. Or we're the ones executed. I followed the note and didn't no, realize I was following the there's note. One more possibility. Yeah. I guess we'll just it's do that then. <laughs> Someone is definitely tricking us. That's fine. So <laughs> I didn't want to, but it's fine. I'll take that decision and move on. Q team are not killers this route. I think up next is the. The contamination room, though, so I'll probably leave that alone and just jump back here and have them kill somebody, though. We'll have the next room unlocked, but we won't do it. Ugh. Cause this game is not linear. You can do the rooms in any order, and can make different decisions whenever you want. Shit, I forgot about that. There's a lot more. Maybe not. There's a lot. Oh. How many endings are there? Seven. Hmm, do I do the button? Yeah, no, this game's not that long.
I wonder, do these open up no matter what? These must open up no matter what. Oh. That J thumbs up icon. Yeah, I, I smiled at that too. You know what? I'm gonna fuck with the vote now. I'm gonna fuck with the vote now. I'm gonna make Diana kill somebody. <laughs> Sorry, C Team. <laughs> they died anyway. Time fuckery already? Yes. This game, since this game doesn't follow a flow chart, you can basically do whatever you want in any order. And you can repeatedly go back into, <laughs> into rooms. <laughs> Sorry, Sigma being mad at me what? made me laugh. I don't know. I have no idea why I voted for CT. Oh, I'm sorry, Diana. What are you talking about? But it's true. Please believe me. Ninety minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Yeah. Well, as the next game will begin. The sad music playing. I killed some people. Votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the three of you. When you next wake, those who survived will be able to regret the decision they made. As all members of a single team will perish as a result of the vote you entered. Pleasant dreams. Sorry, Carlos. Hey, Akane. Akane! Carlos. Hey, what the hell is this? Uh, it's no use. It won't come off. And now for the voting results. The team who received two votes is you. Yeah, they show you. They show you the result if somebody gets two votes. So we're gonna see this two more times with different people. That bitch betrayed us. All is necessary for fact. Give it up. Damn it! Damn it! There's no way of dying here. Please don't. Please. Yeah. Ready to see it two more times. <laughs> they blew up in the first game? Yeah, if you didn't get the door, they did explode. There was some exploding going on in 999. Alright, defend yourselves, C-Team. Vote for the other one. Your vote has been accepted. Carlo, 
house. Why? Smart move. Ninety minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well as the next hey, something tells you you're gonna be seeing the ceiling a lot in this game, maybe. The team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the cranium. When you next wake, those who survive will be able to regret the decision. Yes, this, the third game is a much more disjointed experience because you don't really know when things happen because everybody is falling asleep at the end of a 90 minute window. But you don't need to know the exact order of how things happen to glean what's going on. It's, it's like you, that's why the timeline is there because you can eventually string it all together. But in the moment when you choose the rooms, it's in isolated segments. Also, the I need Q team to vote somebody else. Because they still die in this one. Room! Why would you? If Carlos voted for D-Team like he said he would in the note? Maybe that was the result he was going for. He wanted to kill the three in D-Team. No. You said it earlier, right, Mira? The note Gab brought? It could have been a trap from C-Team. Right. But that doesn't mean voting for D-Team can be justified. If it really was a trap, there still isn't a solid reason to go against what it says in the note. Because regardless, as long as Diana doesn't flip on us, we may be screwed anyway. Mira? There's no way we can justify it by saying we voted this way in self-defense. She got a point. I mean, even though Carlos didn't choose according to his note, they still died because the previous because Diana did it first. So they got two votes. Nobody dies because everybody betrayed. It's something. It's I still I still say these models are better than Virtue's Last Reward. A good ending. Okay, so we did all that. But now... Do you have to watch the cinema? Yes, I think you- you don't have to make the decision, you just have to watch the cinema, I think. No? What? Oh, no, you do have to do the vote. Okay, fine, game. So it records the moment, not the result that you looked at. But this means... Is it them or is it Q? It's Q. Hey, 
Mira, oh are... yeah, that's right. Where are we? I think this is the pod room. Damn it! It's no use. It's locked and won't open. What's with this collar? I don't know. It was on my neck when I woke up. You fucking brat! It has to be you! Uh, it's not! Eric! Stop! Then tell us how to get this thing off! I... I don't... A door. Maybe it's... Is this another exit? And now for the voting results. The team who received two votes is you, Q-Team. As such, according to the rules, Q-Team will be executed. What are you saying? This is a joke, right? So it was a trap set up by C-Team. The world is full of possibilities. You have caused one of them to become realized. That's all. What the heck? What is this? Hey, take it off. I said take it off. Ah! Open, damn it! May you rest in peace. Or Scanda, or Ganda. E. Okay, let me look at the flow. Okay. So they voted Q, which means now I gotta vote D. Yeah. So that way we'll see all the team deaths. Like I just help you. Yep, and that's all I needed because Diana, Diana. Q team had already voted. D, because they did... They didn't do what the note said. Fi! Where are we? I think it's the healing room. Hey! Open this door! What is this color? No idea. Zero must have put them on us. But let's take them off. You can't. There's no hole for a key. But there must be a way. The team who received two votes is you, D Team. As such, according to the rules, D Team will be executed. No! Damn it! Why? What's Q Team thinking? If they were going to choose us, then there was no point in sending Gab. That's true, but. There has to be a trick to this game. Something nonsensical. Illogical, maybe. You're trying hard. Was it you decided to kill all of you? Me. In a way, they are the true culprit. Me. Just stop talking nonsense. Zero! <laughs> you won't get away with this. I swear I'll... Sigma, let's jump. What? Oops. Anyway, who next? Room actually.
We got C, we got Q, and we got D. Just go in order? So, like, left to right? I mean, the last room that we did was C, but I suppose it was all just the decision stuff. Can we do the chainsaw? Can we do the chainsaw? Well... It's tempting! We got... This room looks like we're arguing. This room looks like we're arguing. This room looks like we're gonna gamble. There's a button. And then chainsaw. <laughs> you enter stream and nine people die. Welcome to Zero Escape, Zero Time Dilemma. <sighs> this room. This room. Let's solve a puzzle, shall we? Suspicion. This is... The pantry. People die in the previous two games. People die a lot. No Junpei's idea. died a lot in the first game. He way. died a lot in the second one, too. <laughs> and he's probably gonna die some more in this one. We've already seen him die once. <laughs> it's locked. Wait, did Junpei do this? You think he woke up first and then locked us in? It's been a long time since you've seen each other, right? Maybe now he's Zero's accomplice. That's not possible. The Junpei I know would never do something like that to us. Sorry. It was just one of the possibilities. Junpei... You know, this has been on my mind for a while. But what exactly is he to you, Akane? It's hard to believe that you two just knew each other in grade school. Junpei... He's very... Yes. He's very important to me. All my life, I've never really had many friends to call my own. That's surprising. I would have taken you as the type guys and girls all fawn over in Japan. Oh, you're very kind. Thank the you. Sw the smile looks kind of weird. He looks really creepy. <laughs> they always said, I was a girl who always said what shouldn't be said. I never found myself bullied or anything, but it still seemed as if people considered me something of an odd girl. Junpei was different. He told me he'd rush to my aid whenever I was troubled. Once, when we were young, I was crying over something, and he faced the enemy alone. No, they, they're capable Sounds of frowning. Like You're here. thinking of VLR. VLR, they are incapable of being me, sad. The they are neutral and smiling. But this past year has completely changed him. It seems to me like he's the exact opposite now. If it was because of me somehow... Then this time, I need to rush to his aid. That's what I've decided, anyway. You really like Junpei, don't you? What in the world are you saying, Carlos? I'm out of my depth when it comes to romance. My co-workers do always come to me with their stories, though. Alice so can get surprised, you're right. Just by looking but when Al- when- when Clover was surprised, she would go, <gasps> and then smile when she stopped talking. <laughs> like- There is. I love my little sister very much. She's a uh, sunshine on my life. Oh, so a sister complex. Ha ha, you're horrible. Consider it payback for earlier. Now then, nothing will come from just sitting around here. How about we find a way out? Right. I bet you're eager to see your dearest love as soon as you can. Ah, oh, Carlos! All right, let's go. Oh no. Oh no. Can I do this with mouse and keyboard? Will it let me? Oh, I may have to plug a controller in, you guys. Ooh, this click and drag. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are the controls? <laughs> Th 
This doesn't help. <laughs> also, our status? Alive? We don't know. Thought I'd be able to kick this wooden door down. Zero wouldn't lock us in a place that we'd be that easy- that'd be that easy to escape from. Let's keep looking. Wooden door, it's locked. Gosh, it may be better with a control. I'm gonna plug in controller and see how. We got by with not needing a controller, but I don't think this game was built- It made it- it doesn't have keyboard control UI, so... Probably wants me to use a controller, so I shall. There we go. So now I do that, and this is how it should control instead of whatever the fuck was going on <laughs> when I was trying this keyboard and mouse. All right, what's this? It's round. Maybe it's a knob for a machine? Round part. A round yellow part. If you look closely, you can see a tiny triangle. Maybe it's a machine part. I can rotate it. I can rotate it. I'll alternate. I can use a mouse when I want to look at something specific. Potato. Oh, Carlos, the potatoes are cut up into round pieces. All right, time to fire up the grill and chow down. On second thought, I don't feel much like eating while we're stuck here. You know, I remember doing a school science experiment with potatoes before. Click on a box and end up spinning around 720 degrees, yeah. No, not that, this. Ah, this is... Left arm. Pretty sure it's fake. This arm, it's handcuffed and affixed to this bar. Is there a reason for that? Damn, no use. It's locked on the wrist. There's a spot for a key. Maybe there's one around here somewhere? Is there anything in this box? Some crackers! Uh, the packaging makes them look good, but I can't say I have much of an appetite. Let's see. There's nothing we can use here. Nothing useful up here. Let's get together and eat some when we escape! Yeah! Alright. Gelatin recipe. It's nice of them to draw it out, but it's kind of vague. If there's a recipe, then there's probably ingredients, too. But are they saltines? <laughs> yeah. Y you should make some and give it to Junpei when we see him. I made it just for you! No, I'm not bold enough to say something like that. That's too bad. A girl like you saying that would definitely capture his heart. Carlos- the Okay, the dynamic has been established. I wanted to wait, but he's very quick on the draw. Akane and Junpei's relationship is kind of messed up because the first game, what Akane did in order to, you know, not be dead, sort of fucked up Junpei in the head. He's sort of angsty after that. And Carlos over here, like, ooh, I can play matchmaker, rubs hands together. <laughs> I think it's cute that you guys are in love. <laughs> Meanwhile, they both have 99 problems. And admittedly, most of them are caused by the existence of the other. I want to know if we're having s'mores or soup. You're right. Well, she said for tea. If we get hungry, we can come back here, but there's no need to do that now. What's in this box? Ah! This is a... A right leg? Is Zero trying to scare us with mannequin parts? There's really nothing else aside from the leg here. Let's keep looking. Well, there's potatoes. I wouldn't store potatoes with a mannequin leg, but... Power seems to be off on this machine. Doesn't the hole in this panel look like a gingerbread man? I wonder what it could be. Machine powered on. 
This depression in the panel must be the power switch. Let's see if we can use it. Hmm. In this tiny man-shaped hole. This is a thermo fridge. It can be used to heat or cool items put inside it. That's cool. What about this bottom part? Nope, can't open it without a handle. The door to the freezer is locked. Won't budge. Brute force won't work on this thing. It won't open if we don't unlock it. There's a password input device next to it. How about we try putting a number in? We put the correct password in, the door should open. Four digits. Okay, let's give it a shot. Nope. <laughs> hmm, guess the number's wrong. Wonder why. I can see a bottle and a card on the other side of the glass. This door is locked. What's with all these pink lines? Pushing these buttons should open the door. Oh. Yeah, I don't know the pass to that. Kind of blue doll and a right arm? This glass door is locked. A bunch of green lines are over it, too. Not a blue doll and what seems to be a right arm on the other side of the glass. There's a bottle and some sort of card inside. I'm missing something. I need powder, water, and a mold. I don't have that. Oh! Gah! What is this? Is this a torso? Carlos, is this real? Why would you think that, Akane? It's just a realistic fake. You're right, it couldn't be real. It's a very well-made human toast, so no need to look at this again! It says iodine. Got it. I remember being told as a kid to never put any of it in my mouth. And the more you're told not to, the more you want to do it. Did you try it? I was curious, but I knew a boy who did, and he got severely reprimanded as a result. I wonder who. Let me guess. Junpei? Man, that guy. I, I, there is no denying it. Junpei kind of stupid at times. <laughs> Don't potatoes change when iodine solution is dropped on them? Yes, the starch reacts with the iodine and turns purple. Dudler. Oh, down, up, down, left, left, right. And then right, left, left, down, up, down. Got it. Oh, look! Letters appeared! I must mean the experiment was successful. Okay, we'll do the right door first. Right, left, left, down, up, down. Nice. So the reaction to the iodine test on the potatoes was the hint for this door. <laughs> no. There are smart Junpeis. There are just... Two in media that we know aren't all the time. And Junpei's pretty smart. It's just... Sometimes he's not. He can be very silly. Alright, let me grab this. Just heat it up. Doll pantry. Warm, cool. I hope not. I have water. <laughs> Carlos, what the fuck? Iori's and ten Miyogis. If you drink from it, you gain superhuman powers and you break down the door. Actually, can I- can I rescind that? Can I retract that statement? I think Junpei is smarter than Carlos. <laughs> I wish that was true. Don't try it, though. It might have poison inside. I just thought it'd be nice to be the hero, but you're right. 
Uh, down, up, down, left, left, right. The letters on the potatoes were a hint after all. Mm hmm. Left hand doll. Left hand and doll equals. Interesting. Oh shit, these puzzles. I just wanted to not interact with that. God fuck! <sighs> yeah, they are. But I, the controls being annoying. I feel that. <laughs> I feel that strongly right now. I misclicked. Didn't want to interact with a thing that I ended up interacting with. And accidentally reset the entire puzzle. <laughs> okay, I think that's done. Yep. Mold. What is this exactly? It kind of looks like a cookie cutter, but it has a bottom. Maybe it's for gelatin? Gelatin, huh? see. Can I combine mold with water? Mold with water. Put some water in the mold. We need some gelatin powder to harden this. Gelatin powder. What about the hand? It's a handcuffed right arm. I doubt it's real, but that's no reason to keep looking at this creepy thing. The arm can't be removed, but we can take the doll. Blue doll. Carlos, this blue doll. It feels cold. It was in the refrigerator. Of course it's cold. It makes me think of those cold packs you use when you have a fever. I doubt anyone would have ever put their doll on that- <laughs> Ever put that doll on their face, Agate. This handcuff is locked. There's a keyhole here. We just need to unlock it with a key. Alright. Change the temperature to warm. Let's warm the doll. Look at that! The color turned to pale pink. He'd been trapped in that refrigerator so long that his skin turned blue. I kind of feel- I feel bad for the little guy now. One, two, three, four! I declare thumb war. Look close. I thought it was ketchup, but it looks like it was written with blood. Ketchup? Really? You have to admit that it'd be pretty funny. Zero using ketchup to write this out. Where do I put that, though? Surely not for the door. No, I had a feeling. Yeah, except I don't have gelatin powder game. Oh! Ah, this is... A left leg? Is Zero trying to scare us? Oh, it's powder to make gelatin. Mostly for baking, but has uses in everyday cooking, too. Oh, Carlos! I didn't know you liked to cook! My mom's the one. I've seen her use it in stew or pasta sometimes. What a nice mother! I'm a little jealous. It was a long time ago, but the memory is still so clear in my head. Mold, water, and powder. Put some gelatin powder into the mold with water. Good job! Now all we need to do is cool it, and then we'll have- we'll have made some gelatin! Kinda feels like I'm on a cooking show. We'll call it Zero Time for Cooking with Carlos and Akane! Zero time. Aha! <laughs> yeah. Funny. 
Mm -hmm. We'll just ignore that leg. That leg's not important. We have gelatin. Wow, Carlos, Carlos, it's so jiggly. It might look delicious, but there's no sugar in it. It won't taste good. Well, you just ruined my appetite. Why is reality so cruel? Oh my god, they're all idiots. Akane. Akane, what happened to you? It's depression. Maybe we can put the gelatin in it. I heard a sound from below the machine. The drawer at the bottom opened. Okay. Oh, nice, nice. Key. Key. Let's try using it with every keyhole we find. Woo! Well, for starters, we have this handcuff. We got the arm! This right arm is a fake? It's strangely cold. It's in a fist, too. Oh, does that mean... No, I don't think it wants to win at rock, paper, scissors. It's an arm, guys! It's an arm! Woo! <laughs> Even though I'm playing with a controller, I have to. Let's- let's warm up that arm. Maybe if we heat this up, something will change. Ugh, I got all warm and soft. This whole gimmick is really gross. Arm. Heating it caused the hand to open. Did you just play rock, paper, scissors with it, Carlos? W what? Like I would do something so childish. He played rock, paper, scissors with an arm. Other hand. Oh, wait. My bad. <laughs> yes, the arm has been freed! Five, two, nine. Five, two, nine? And then our hint, left and right. Left hand and doll. Oh, okay, left hand and doll. Left hand plus doll. So... Shit, no calculator. It's 100... It's 1,234 plus... 529, right? That's the logic that it's going for? One seven six three. That or I can't fucking math. That's probably it. Six two five. Yep. 
Left hand and doll equals was a hint for the freezer. Yes, but it only opened the cover. We have another step. Maybe the warm doll's hands will work on this thing? Is this you joking or being serious, Carlos? <laughs> it's because I have it in my items. I'm just kidding. <laughs> ha ha. Ha. Let me try just our hand. <laughs> Then whose hand is it? I wonder. Your math, at least. Yeah, my math was correct. I was just thinking because the hand upside down. It was actually six six hundred twenty-five, not five hundred twenty-nine. Anyway, we did it. We did it. Good, good job, guys. Oh. I don't think this is fake. <laughs> you knew this was gonna happen and you clapped anyway. <laughs> so we were talking about Junpei's inability to stay alive in most timelines, huh? <laughs> Junpei is... Carlos? Damn it! Damn it! Break damn you! Uh, uh, Connie? God, you love her. <laughs> She's great. Hi, Gab. Junpei's dead. <laughs> Carlos was playing rock, paper, scissors with that arm earlier. I don't know if the connection has been made yet, but all of the body parts in that room were not a mannequin's. Those were all Junpei's limbs. And other... Damn it. Who would have thought this would happen? Pieces. All I wanted was That's why we brought it along! <laughs> if only I could save her. Just... Save Maria. That's all I wanted. And now... Reverie Syndrome? Huh. For example... Hmm. Say there's a PC with basic low-end components. If we played a number of videos all at once on it, what would happen? The processing speed slows down, of course. It's not much better than if the computer had froze. What's happening with your younger sister is similar. So you're saying this isn't carbon monoxide poisoning, but... Right. With Maria, her brain and nervous system seem to be perfectly fine. We couldn't figure out the cause until now. Other patients with the same symptoms began appearing recently. And they have. Reverie Syndrome. A variety of moments flicker in and out of the mind, as if one was constantly dreaming. That's why it's called the Daydream, or Reverie Syndrome. There have been no complete recoveries, 
as of yet. However, it seems with the newest medical technology, a few cases have been successful at relieving the symptoms. Then please, you must do the same for her. Does little Maria have insurance? You uh, do understand what's required for treatment, yes? The American healthcare system. If I did, she'll... Maria will... So that means I... I absolutely can't die here. That's why you killed Junpei, isn't it? What? What did you say? You figured you needed to kill someone to save your sister. Gab over there. That's why Gab has no idea what's going on. What, what are you talking about? Don't play dumb. Did you forget that you and I are the only ones in this ward? So it's obvious the killer is- Gab, get out of there. Run. It had to have been you, Carlos. Okay, you're right. I'm the only other one here. But I... Oh no, it was definitely you who killed him. Wait, stop! You say that, but maybe you're the one who really did it. What did you say? You were the one who killed Junpei. And now, you're going totally nuts with that chainsaw. I don't believe this. No matter what, even if the world went topsy-turvy this very second, I'd... So, I'm going to be the next one to kill, huh? If two more people die, you can return to your darling little sister. Hey now, if you kill me, your probability of escape gets pretty high. What? you run away? Did she feel too threatened by me with this axe? Think. Calmly. Think it over again. It's just like any other Code 3. Once 90 minutes are out, an injector in your bracelet will activate. An anesthetic and an agent will raise your memories will be administered. Okay. So after we voted at 1330, we were hit with the anesthetic. We awoke in the pantry after 1800. It's four hours of time not accounted for. What was I doing during that time? Was I really sound asleep then, or... I just can't remember what happened because of the drugs I was given. Maybe Akane was right, and I... What? Blackout? No. Akane had run off towards control. It might be possible to turn off the lights there. So she did kill Junpei? And she's coming for me. Ah, what do I do? What the hell should I do? Is the most threatening person here right now. Whoever it was who killed Junpei. So what I need to do is remove that person. Even if it ends up being me. No. What the hell am I thinking? There's no way it could be me. So then, then. Ah, there you are. Damn it. Just who did it? It was Gab. <laughs> wow, would a dog do it? <laughs> the dead cannot kill anyone. Not likely to be Q team.
We know that all of Q-Team is alive. Do not know identity. Error! <laughs> it was I! It was Dio! He went to the past! <laughs> Wait, actually? Oh, it fits! What the fuck? The Myrmidons killed him. You! Y you! <laughs> the Lotus! <laughs> Yeah, we already put in Junpei. It says the dead cannot kill anyone. Which... I love when you put in Gab. <laughs> How would a dog do it? <laughs> it's like, are you stupid? I'm going to put Gab in every time I can, though. She was upset about the Saturn joke. Yeah. Also, decision music? I'm gonna do both no matter what, so we'll just start off with me. Do something like that to Junpei. He's very. Yes, he's very important to me. If that's the case, then I'm. I'm the only one who could have killed him. It might have been a demon possessing me. Or maybe it was some kind of parasite. Or I'm under hypnosis? Whatever it was, I'm. Regardless of the reason, I was the. And then I forgot I Content warning. Drug. It's not in the title since it doesn't happen as often Carlos? because Radical Six isn't a focus. I'm dangerous. But uh body moves against my will. I might kill you next. <laughs> if that's how it is, then Carlos, no! <laughs> Uchikoshi. Content warning Uchikoshi. <laughs> Why did this happen? I'm sorry, but that's not how blood works. Mom. Dad. I won't let anyone die. Game over.
<laughs> nice save. All right, back in. <laughs> I can't redeem, but take a break. You're right. We'll go. We'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> we return. I it was a short break, but we return. And we go. We go! How do you skip when you're using a controller? They call me Queen. I don't know. I think it was because it was touchscreen on the DS. You got some stuff ready for when you'll eat and take a shower later and got a water? Nice. I should get a water, but I didn't. Does this work? It does! You can type their last name in! Clever game! You can pet foxes. Ooh, I want to pet dogs. I'm sorry, Akane, I have to kill you! Kill. Junpei. I'm sorry. I couldn't avenge you. Akane? I. I just killed. Kind of dead. Well, time to do Q team. <laughs> what are we feeling? We feeling them standing in a room next to a sink. Uh, Eric having an existential crisis as Mira takes a nap in a pod, or uh, the child, golf ball headed kid, holding a crossbow. <laughs> sink. Crisis crossbow. Sink means dishes. Do we do we watch them do the dishes? Dish <laughs> dish. <laughs> okay, dish. Are we feeling dish? They're just kind of hanging out. There's a pig on that counter behind Eric, by the way. <laughs> we'll do the dishes. <laughs> oh yeah, apparently when it loads the room- Oh hi, Radical Six. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Forgot. Why? No, it won't even budge. Ah! The hell is that? Formaldehyde solution with a pig. It's okay, Mira. I'm right here with you. Ugh. We're in the bio lab, right? So there's a bunch of biological research here. 
Jeez, this place is really creepy. Why is something like this in a bomb shelter? Maybe the builders thought to be prepared for some kind of pandemic. Pandemic? An infectious disease that hits on a global scale. It's like a sudden deadly virus outbreak. Maybe this place is an isolated location for researching all kinds of viruses like that. Oh, okay. Or maybe Zero put it here in order to do something to us. Mira not helping. Like what? Like maybe taking the ingredients and cooking all of us a nice meal. <laughs> um, but isn't it uh, too early for dinner? It's been four and a half hours since we fell asleep in the lounge. Four and a half hours. They knocked us out for quite a while. No, not necessarily. We could have woken up a bunch of times during all that. But if Zero erased our memories? Of course. We wouldn't remember. No. What's this? Myrmidon, more like Mira's Slash Dawn dishwashing stuff. liquid. <laughs> yes. Oh, for real? <laughs> Would that mean that we. Probably. Why? Why do we have to do something like that? I have no idea, but it's not like we really have a choice, do we? There's no way to leave. We're just gonna have to do what he said. <laughs> Disappointed, Eric. Slouch. <laughs> All right, let's start off with this pig. I think this pig is the one, but the big question is, how do we get it out? You're rinsing, Eric, and you're drying, Q. Yeah. This is it. Time to prove I'm a man. Yeah! Ow, my hand. Wait, not even a crack? What the hell are you... He just punched the glass. My fist still kind of hurts. Ow. There are caster wheels on it, but it seems like it's locked in place. We need to unlock them if we want to move it. Ah, there's an outlet back here. There's an outlet in the back. An analyzer, but the power is not on. I doubt we can turn it on as it is now. Okay, what about the- Okay, drawer not open. This drawer might be decoration, it won't open and there's no keyhole. This chair doesn't have armrests. I don't like it. I'm so ready to sink into my couch once we get out of here. Let's have a seat and- Wait, this isn't the time to take a break? This is a clean bench. It's for preventing contamination of samples while working. What kind of contamination? Uh, substances like microorganisms, bacteria, things that shouldn't get mixed in samples. I see. You really know your stuff. They're alright. It won't explode if we mix it, will it? Oh, oh, like mad scientists do, right? Well, that's an old-fashioned reference. Green. There's a, a drink called Aljiru in Japan that's green like this. Aljiru got its name from an old way of calling vegetables green plant. It tastes super bad. How do you know stuff like that? Just who are you, really? It's pink liquid. It's so bright. It's a popular color in nail salons. Is there any way we can examine this liquid further? It's a UV irradiator. They're good, but doing all of one group before moving on to the next made you miss C. Yeah. I mean, I I don't dislike the interactions. 
with all of the teams, but I will say Q's is... I would say Q's is the hardest to socialize with if you played the first two games, because you at least know two people from the previous games in both teams besides this one. Like, you don't know who any of these people are or what their deal is. At least, if you played the first two, you know Sigma and Phi, and you know Akane and Junpei. Even though their characters have, you know, altered from their original appearances somewhat. And... Relatability, yeah, they're kind of... And of course... But when I played this game first, I didn't really- I didn't dislike them. They definitely had the- what we would call the wackiest situations. And most of them were due in part to the way that they act. Not... you know. <laughs> so, not for toasting your skin to a beautiful tan, then. What? It's not a tanning bed. Yeah. Ooh. Gross. There's specimens everywhere. What are they doing with all these? Maybe to just freak someone like you out? <laughs> if only Zero was a fun prankster. Maybe it's an experimental plant that can live in a polluted world. Sounds like the setup for a man-eating flower from a bee movie to me. A seahorse. Is it a shrimp? A starfish? Snake? It's a type of fish. It's hard to tell, but they do have gills. A butterfly. Hey, that's weird. I can't move it. Looks like this is the only one locked in place. What could that mean? There's a penguin! It's so sad there in that specimen jar. Really? It's dead, so it doesn't really matter. Hmm. What? I don't think this opens. Huh. The buttons. Okay. I also found that their room typically tended to have the hardest puzzles, or the ones that just made me the most confused. Oh god. Let's not mess with that right now. I definitely think it doesn't lend itself very well that Q, Q definitely has the hardest rooms. There's only a few that come to mind from the other teams, like the fucking taser puzzle. That's D-Team. But honestly, every other room was fine except for that fucking taser puzzle. I'm gonna try to not wind up looking that up, but I may look that up. <laughs> uh the cell structure is unique for each color. Got it. Hmm. It's a heptagon. Oh, because it has seven sides. Nice. Actually, you have one from each of the other teams. Oh boy. It's been a while since I've played this game, so... Wait, no lens? Okay. Oh! My bad. The cover of the centrifuge. You feel like there's meaning to them. Ugh.
It's a centrifuge. Do we put the liquid in it? No. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> Set the dial to A to mix the liquid. Set the dial to B to separate the liquid. It's supposed to be the manual for the centrifuge. Cool. Now I can operate it. Knife! A knife! That thing, balonophobia. Be Eric, you know saying big words doesn't make you look smarter, do you? Don't you? Oh no, Mira! Eric's shrinking into himself! I'm pretty sure that was one of D-Team's. Oh boy, again, it's been an age since I've played this game, but I, but I have played this game twice, and neither times we took notes. Locked in place, huh? Be careful with the knife? No! I will never be careful! Now you can see my mouse move around as I flip this thing all over the place. <sighs> Fanatic Bio R. The incubation period for this virus is extremely short. Mortality rate is 100%. Symptoms include blood erupting from the body, then death. <laughs> Nothing else, huh? Microscope lens. Power cord. Uh, thanks, Eric. When it came out of the pillow, it looked like intestines. So disgusting. I wonder what this cord's for. <laughs> they all this paper? Fanatic Bio R? Then just be careful not to break your wrist. Okay. Poor pig pillow. Something thin and long. I don't think I have anything. Wait. The knife! <laughs> that shouldn't have worked, but it did, I guess. <laughs> Idiot, look what you did. Damn it, how are we gonna cut the pig open now? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pull so hard. Ah, uh, damn it, it's all over. Zero's gonna kill us all now. What's done is done. The analyzer's still on, at least. We'll find another way. Yes. Hmm.
That's not what I meant to do. I guess it's not the right lens. Now we have blue. You thought blue blood ran through the veins when you were little? It's a yellow liquid. Lemonade? Are you serious? Red. Looks kind of like blood. You really grow taller when you drink a lot of milk. Uh, let's make sure no one tries to drink this accidentally, okay? Okay, white liquid looks like that. One, three. Two. One, three, two. Or blue is two. Red is three. White is one. Yellow is five. Nice. Weird ass puzzle, but okay. <laughs> I won't lose to a kid next time. Oh shit, this puzzle. Fuck. Ah, that's how you do it.
There we go. Figured it out. Puzzles. Ah, oh, capsules. I don't really like capsule pills. They have to be cherry flavored. Eric, you aren't still taking children's cough syrup, are you? Well. Greatest suitcase packing you've ever seen. I hate puzzles like that. <laughs> Hooray for me for not taking too long to figure it out, but I hate puzzles like that. Uh, maybe if we mix them with something, they'll give us a clue? These are puzzles I wouldn't want to take. What do the different colors mean? Well, it looks like five, three, two, one, and nothing. Worth a shot. Still don't know what's up with that. Oh, okay. Uh, let me read that. Or not. Where's log? How do I log? I can't. Well, we put the centrifuge cover in the thing that looks like a microwave. Orange, blue, white. Ah, it's down. Oh, I think this thing will fit in here. The centrifuge cover? Ah, well, you can try it at least. Up is cycling, quick cycling my items, which I needed to know that anyway. I wish this was a glass of orange juice. I'd love to be eating breakfast right now. Do you actually, Mira, do you actually drink orange juice with your breakfast? I feel like you don't. Orange, blue, white. No matter how bad the situation is, solving a problem always cheers you up. Looks like a human fetus. What's wrong? Why are you turning your head away like that? I always think too much about these kinds of things and then I get all sad. Are you crying? Oh wait, I need to... Five symbols with five colors, all different. Could be a hint. Aha! This. The insect can't move. So the first is the bird. Then the... Plant? Then the... Human. And then the... Uh, oh wait, yeah, no, first is a bird, no, then the fish, then the human, then the plant.
Nice. <sighs> now I see. That's how it goes. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. I knew it too, of course. I noticed way before- Hey! Don't ignore me! Fingerprint authentication device. It pricked us. Power's on. Can't move it. Move it. Click. Oh. He is sensitive to the smell of that. Of the preserver. Yeah, that solution. Quit whining and move it. Didn't you want to prove you were a man? You can do it, Eric! Formaldehyde. I don't know how hard one to cut when you're holding it, huh? Oh. That super hard glass shattered into pieces. Weird. So now we have to slash. You got this! I'll be cheering you on from over here! I can't believe you. Wait, what am I doing? Scalpel! There's a trick to it. Oh, for crying out. Here, give me the scalpel. There's a trick to it. Ow, so clean. Does your family own a farm, Mira? Something like that. Now, let's see what's inside this thing. Zoom into the pig. We did it. We f we achieved our objective. Man of fortune creature. Zero. Seventeen years ago, a woman died. Her chest carved open in a sharp object. Just like that pig man. What difference? That woman was alive. Her heart was still beating. Suspect was Petnikov. He must have planned to escape via taxi, as he caught one before his capture. The police arrested him before he was able to realize the waiting vehicle. My chat disconnected and reconnected. Instead, the genius surgeon climbed inside. He was heading to the hospital. A seriously ill patient awaiting his arrival for life-saving treatment. However, the taxi got into the taxi. Collided with a large truck. The result proved once horrendous. Sadly, as a result of this accident, the driver and surgeon died, as well as the young boy waiting for surgery. Life is truly unfair. You are weirdly quiet in this cutscene. What is the point of him telling us this story? It's just some kind of act, right? Probably doesn't mean anything. I'm not sure. Now then, let's begin our game. Too bad we can't go back to Farsi room because then we could make scalpel potatoes. <sighs> Each of them is filled with a specific virus called Radical Six. Radical Six? This virus is special. It awakens a desire to kill oneself, among other things. Once Symptoms appear as early as 10 minutes, or take up to two hours. And the host soon finds the urge to commit suicide irresistible. 
scalpeled potatoes is pretty good, okay? I, I, I like scalpeled potatoes. <laughs> So, a single virus is toxic, but using the other as a vaccination provides an antidote. What is he talking about? If I had foreseen that you would all choose to inject radical sex at this moment, I would have made sure to coat FBI on the fingerprint authentication device there. Meaning, you already be infected with the fanatic bio R virus. That device over there? Oh, I do remember feeling something when I touched it. Like a prick. So we were all stabbed by a poison needle? On the other hand, if I saw that you were not going to inject yourselves with radical sex, then I would be sure to leave the needle clean. That way, you would not become infected with fanatic bioware. Wait, what? What are you saying? I'll say it once more. If all of you plan to inject yourselves with radical sex, If you are not going to eject yourselves, then you are not infected right now. Which means, in either case, you being saved is a foregone conclusion. There's no reason for you to worry about the situation. What will you do now? Inject yourselves with radical six? Or refrain? It would be best to consider the careful. I will say that your decision It's that thing from VLR again. <laughs> so wait, do we even need to choose? Huh? If what Zero told us is the truth, then the outcome will be the same. If we inject ourselves with this Radical Six, we're already infected with FBR. So they destroy each other and we're fine. And if we don't do it, that just means we weren't infected with FBR in the first place. But what if it's a lie? Huh? He's saying what if he's lying about being psychic? Well, if you think about it, the likelihood that he's lying is incredibly high. So then, what do we do? What the hell do we do? Yeah, outside of a blood volcano, what does FBR do? Let's... let's do it. It's the- it's the thing from VLR where the actions of our pa- of the future in impacted the actions of That's the past. Why? Where the even though Sigma voted after Alice did, her vote was always future, opposite. He's lying. It's just like Eric said, if Zero does have that power, then it's the same either way. That means... All we need to do is think about what happens if he doesn't. Our fate can go four different ways if that's the situation. Oh. If we are infected with FBR and we inject ourselves with Radical Six, or not. If we aren't Aww. infected with FBR and we inject ourselves with Radical Six, or not. The important thing we need to remember, though, is the mortality rates. Zero said the casualty rate is 75% for the last I see. Six and we saw in the files that death is 100% confirmed for Fnatic Bio R. 
so we can use that to determine. Queen of rock and roll. I see. It's clear which option is best, right? I see. The probability that we're infected with FBR is two to one, which means if we inject Radical 6, our survival rate is half of 125, 62.5%. And if we don't inject it, then our chance is sitting at 50%. Any objections? Then we know what to do. He logicked it. Okay, here we go. Ready? And... Ow, that sounded painful. Gab! Oh, are we good? Did we do the right thing? The lab door opened afterwards, so we must have. Do you feel any different? No, not really. So, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eric. I've thought this before, but, well, your laugh is kind of strange. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I guess this is, well, sort of a bad habit I've had since I was a kid. What do you mean? Issues at home, I guess. Was your family difficult? That's just it. We were completely normal. A kind mom. Clumsy dad, and an annoying little brother. <laughs> oh dear, what's wrong? I, I'm not sure, I've just been crying. Hey you two, mind telling mommy why you're crying? <laughs> Chris broke my toy! No! Listen to me, okay? When painful or sad things happen, people get angry or cry because of them. But even at those times, I want you to never forget to smile. Smile? Yes, smile. No matter how painful things get, as long as you can face it with a smile, happiness will come to you. Smiles have a strange power. Really? Yes, really. And that's not all. A smile can make everyone all around you happy, too. <gasps> you too, Mommy? You'll be happy, too? God, he's creepy as so fuck. Aww. So why don't you two stop fighting and show Mom your smiles? Okay. Yeah! <laughs> you sure are something else. Hey, what about me? Can Daddy get some smiles, too? Oh, dear. It looks like Daddy's lovely, you two. Let's all give him a whole lot of smiles. Okay! okay. Get over here for a hug. <laughs> oh, you've gotten big. Oh, me, too. Me, too. Okay. Okay. Come at me. I'm ready. Yay! <laughs> Mom always told us to never forget to smile. She'd never hurt a bug. Not even if a line of ants crossed her path. She was that kind and gentle. She was incredible. And when we lost her, that's when Dad changed. Shut the hell up! Who said you could fucking cry? Chris! Oh, Jesus, Eric! Can't you even look after your shitty little brother? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Forgive me! Please forgive me! God! Go find someone to give me beer. 
Don't cry. Don't get mad. You better always smile. That's what Dad liked to say. But unlike Mom, he was never not angry with us. Eventually, I figured out how to smile, regardless of what was going on. Just smiling day in and day out. No fun. Not happy. I'd be made fun of, or yelled at. And no matter the pain, no matter how bad it was, I never raised my voice. I just kept smiling. I didn't stop, even after Dad fell ill and died. So I guess the two smiles, one taught by my mom and one forced by my dad, got kind of mixed up, and the result is what I pasted on my face. Eric, she's... I've never talked to anyone about all of this before, but... Mira, will you still love me? Even with me being like this? How dumb can you get? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I didn't even have to ask, did I? Eric, thanks for sharing that. It wasn't like I did it for you or anything. It just sort of came out, that's all. Yeah, still, thanks. To tell the truth, I just didn't want to end up like my father. So I forced my mouth to keep smiling through everything. But it's no use. The worst part of me still came to the front after we got trapped here. I pushed all of that on you, too. Don't worry about it. I'm all right. <laughs> okay. So you never mentioned you had a younger brother. Yeah. About your age, more or less. What? We're the same age? Oh, maybe we could be friends. Would it be okay if I met him after we get out? Um, well... Uh, anyway, sorry I turned the mood dark. <laughs> you turned the mood. Oh, your jokes always crack me up, Eric. Huh? I mean, to think that was dark. You really have a sense for these things. Oh, hi, <laughs> Mira. Don't worry, listening to it was a lot of fun. Wait a minute. What makes you think that was all a joke? Uh huh. It was such a sad story. He just told us he's been holding in this painful past the whole time. How is that a joke? Oh, <laughs> I just didn't think <laughs> to make a mistake like that. A mistake? I'm so sorry. I've always been clumsy. It's at times like these that I, I don't even know how to look, you know? Clumsy? Hey, Eric. Can you tell me? <laughs> Mira. Well, we chose a good one as the first one for this Whoa. team. <laughs> Mira, why did you... Uh. <laughs> that laugh! What's wrong with you, Mira? Stop! Stop this! No! <laughs> Nani the fuck? <laughs> That was a good one! Anyway, let's do it again! <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> There's just no context. She just killed them. Whoops. <laughs> she didn't know beforehand, so she couldn't. She couldn't pick the shoes that would throw the suspicion off of her. Yes, of course. Right. You're correct. She's like, shit. I should have worn my flats. <laughs> We shouldn't. Yeah, right? Care to share your reason? After everything, the issue isn't if Zero can see the future or if he's lying. It's just like Eric said, if Zero does have that power, then it's the same either way. That means all we need to do is think about what happens if he doesn't have powers. The important thing to determine is if we're actually infected with FBR. So you don't think we are then? No. In fact, a virus called Fanatic Bio-R existing in the first place is very suspicious. Radical 6 sounds just as fantastical. No. There's no doubt that Radical 6 is real. I've heard of it before. Well, it could be that Zero wants us to become infected with Radical 6. But oh yeah, I forgot about that. that. They injected so themselves with Radical 6. And we know that the it symptoms aren't... Didn't Alice have heels? I think every girl, every hey, woman, the... every the door. gal in the game wore heels in VLR. Let's get out of here. If we're too slow, then the door might up and close on us. Wait, I know Eric. Clover did. I know Alice did. I want to say Luna did, but they weren't that high. <laughs> hey, Mira, what are you doing? We must have been right not to inject it. I still feel okay, and more importantly, the door opened for us. There's still another possibility, you know. That Zero really does have the ability to see the future. If it's true, then we would have been right if we had injected the needles, too. Hey, did you tell the truth earlier? About what? About Radical Six being real. Oh. Um, yeah. How do you know about it? Well, I'm not sure. Did you get any more suspicious? I know what I know, okay? I can't help that. So why not share? Tell us more about this Radical Six virus. More. <laughs> I'm not even sure where to start. How about its name? Oh, <laughs> that's easy. Aside from triggering intense suicidal impulses, Radical 6 causes the infected's thought process to reduce by 1 root 6. Therefore, when 1 second passes for them, the world has gone through root 6 seconds, or roughly 2.45 seconds. There is also the word radical. Aside from meaning things like extreme, it can also refer to a radical root. Get it? Oh, so that's why it's Radical 6. But is it really possible for thought speed to be slowed down like that? Yep. The infected, through changes in DNA methylation and histone modification, gain epigenetic mutations in the control mechanisms of their genetic expressions. Uh, wait! Could you maybe simplify that, please? Oh, the body's composition changes as a genetic switch is flipped, more or less. A genetic... Switch? Huh. Uh, let's try this. A common scientific thought, until now, was that parental characteristics didn't transfer. Recent research has changed that. We now know that they can be, by flipping certain genetic switches. Well, regardless of what kind of experiences the parents had to go through, their DNA blueprints won't change. But, within that expansive DNA coding, the question of what should be read seems to change based on experience. The change becomes especially apparent when the parents' lives are in danger. Like, maybe if someone was trapped in a shelter, 
and forced to risk their life. So, if Eric and I did the horizontal tango right now, the baby might end up psychic. Thank you, Mira. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, if Radical Six really does flip the genetic switch... Eric is not paying attention. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, you're basically saying this Radical Six virus is super dangerous, right? Yes. There's no doubt it is. So, Zero said earlier that Radical Six transmits through bodily fluids and is highly infectious. If someone infected with the virus was to go outside, then... Then... Mankind, six billion people, will die. Six billion? So if Eric's dad is Mercer, he's Mercer? <laughs> that is all. What the hell? C-Team is dead? It's obviously because of the vote. The vote? At 1330. Then... But wait. Did everyone from C-Team really die? We haven't seen their corpses or anything. They might still be alive. No. They're dead. I'm sure of it. Why? Because. He's right. I don't think they're alive. You too, Mira? Uh... What do you think, old man? C-Team's gotta be alive, right? What are you doing, Eric? He's not gonna answer you. Hey, you don't know. Maybe he... Can speak? Now it is time for you to sleep. Zero. When next you wake, know you will have no memory. Of these past 90 minutes. Pleasant dreams. Dang. <laughs> yeah, what of it? I mean, wow. wow. Alright, flowchart looking like this. Carlos's decision, he died. So this is the timeline of events for now. <laughs> Hello, Cosmos Bear? Greeting. All right. D-Team, we've got a button. Another button. Sigma trying to mess with a TV. A gun. Phi. On screen, talking about something. Phi looking sus. <laughs> this is what happens when you try to show off. What do we do? Which one? This one's looking... I mean, the most intense looking image currently seems to be the gun, but we didn't go for the most intense looking image for Q-Team. So what are we thinking? The new one, thank you. <laughs> okay, we got the... this one? I mean, she's right there. She's like, hey. 
Hey, what's up? Outbreak. Would you stop talking nonsense? Zero! You won't get away with this! I swear I'll... What's wrong? The fucking okay? taser puzzle. We're alive. Huh? We really are alive. Right? We'll finish this one up. Hey. We'll do this room. Are you sure you're all right? It well, shouldn't take me two hours to do that. It was surely a bad dream. What happened? Our necks. No. Never mind. This is the room they were in when they died, I think. No, they were- they died in the healing room. Are these things... robots? Yeah. Are they real? I doubt they're model toys. Hey! Hello? He's not very friendly. <laughs> it's probably just out of power. Oh, yeah. Why would these things be in this room? Looking around, I'd say they were being this made is... here. I just realized hey. this is Eden Regal, isn't it? Yeah. Zero's probably manufacturing them. Totally, this is Estelle's it voice actress. Say this room is I didn't even think about it until just now. Uh, um, Sigma. Why did you get quiet all of a sudden? Oh, no reason. You did say a seller. You did! Oh, god damn it. Damn. It's locked. Guess we're trapped in here. Again? Again? Diana, what time is it? It's 1810. There's no use wasting time in a place like this. Let's just find some way out of here. Okay, let's go. Now I want to scroll back and see what you said, but there's a chance it's like gotten buried by now. Aww, I'm sorry, Jumpy. Oh, God. Contact between the red and blue balls will result in an immediate powerful explosion. Set the timer with the buttons above. I think this is a warning message. Oh, I see. Oh, wait, this is a bomb? It explodes just from the red and blue balls touching. We better keep our distance. Okay. The head of a screwdriver. Nothing odd about this machine. I don't know what it even is, Fi. This is not the bomb. Wire cutters. Oh. 
Cut Charlie. Yo, we color. Red, blue, white, close now, surveillance, timer, circuit. That's blurry, but I do think you said speaking of Estelle. Ah. Four right, one left, two left, four right, three left, boot up. What in the... Cut Betty. I think it was right when we heard her for the first time. Oh! I might have just completely missed that then. That or I really am struggling to remember what was said. Either way, I'm sorry. I... I... There is no excuse. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sorry still. <laughs> I just ah, my brain. A crane. We don't need it right now. Okay, this has nothing to do with the bomb we just read. That's a good sign to make this your last room. <laughs> yeah. Four right, one left, two left, four right, three left. Ugh. Let's see. I'm taking a picture of this so I don't have to open this men this file every time. Alright, one, two, three, four. One. Two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, how about this? One, two, three, four. One. Two. Hello, Wasabi. Oh, you've been flying for a year this Friday? Nice! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I have to get all four of them. From the far left. Four right, one left. Okay. So from this, one, two, three, four. One. Two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One. Two.
You had to. You had to. Ah! You had to shock the first one first. It said from the far left. So you start with the first one and then you go. Got it. Alright. Instructions unclear. <laughs> but I did it. I thought you remembered that. Not like this. <laughs> They're in strange poses. Well, I hope they just... I hope they won't try to hurt us. Alright. What's up, dude? I am Alex. What's wrong with it? Is it broken? Maybe it's simply an older model. Alright. Hey, hey, Betty! I am Betty! <laughs> nice to meet you all! Hooray! What's up with this one? It's strangely super hyper. You didn't figure it out, so congrats. <laughs> uh, no, 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 anger! Put down! Set timer to zero seconds, please! I, I think it's angry? Set the timer to zero seconds. What does it mean? Charlie, I'm only saying this once, so listen up. It's more fluent than I expected. It's so... human. His tone of voice could use some work. Could you be any ruder, human? Set up, please. Are you <laughs> set? Set, please. Are you stupid? Wow. All right then, buddy. Are we actually doing what it said? Don't threaten someone with a backlog. <laughs> yeah. The detonation box. Betty has activated the timer inside the box just now. The ignition signal will transmit in five minutes. Five minutes?! Damn it, I knew it. We should have never listened to that robot. You can be disarmed if you choose. You only have to cut the correct wires inside. Don't pick the wrong one. Hints to the right wires should be left by the designer. So we only have to cut the correct wires in the detonation box? Does that mean there's a blueprint around here? Let's hurry, there's no time! Cut Betty. Cut Charlie. Blue? What the? Is that thing staring at me? It is an old model. Maybe he feels an affinity. Please take this. What did it give me? Is that a note? Cut Betty! <laughs> Wibbly wobbly timey wimey. It's no use talking to this one. Hammers and a pendulum.
Yeah, I'm trying to take the screw out. I love lamp. I drink your milkshake. I am Spartacus. Geronimo. <laughs> Woohoo! What in the world is wrong with this thing? When did it move there? We don't have time for this right now. We need to just we have to disarm this box first. R right. I let me get to the box. Cut Betty. Cut Charlie. Alex's note says cut Betty, but I'm gonna cut Charlie. There's a note down there. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Corner. Here's Johnny. I'm the doctor. Who? Who? Ha <laughs> ha! Time. <laughs> okay, but first, uh, I missed these. White, red, blue. Cool. Ah, Alex, Betty, Charlie! Got it, got it! There's a timer. Probably popular Japanese movie quotes. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Seems like it went all right. Let's go. We've been in this creepy room long enough. Where's Gab? I don't see him. Maybe he went off to another war? I'll go and check in the prep room. Why there? Well, he could be coming through the air vent. Sigma, did those robots cause you to remember something? The robots? The ones we saw when we were in manufacturing. You started acting so strange after we entered that room. I've made a few before, in the past. You made robots? Well, I mean, all I really made was the outer appearance and the AI. The frame was built somewhere else. Why did you make them? It's a long story. Let's just say that it was vital to the completion of my plan. No, maybe that's not quite true. It could have just been my cover, to tell the truth. I was simply lonely. I spent several decades of my life alone, in the middle of a desolate desert. I lived in a facility built deep underground, much like this shelter is. Sometimes an acquaintance stopped by, but that was it. No calls or even emails. It was a place of complete and utter quiet. No rain, no wind, 
Just a buzz that echoed in my ears constantly. Still, it wasn't as if I was all alone at the start. Someone was there to help me for a short while after I started living at the facility. A woman. She was very lovely, kind and gentle. Her name was, well, let's just call her Dee. Dee and I, we lived together for three years. We spent the time researching genetics and studying various subjects like quantum mechanics, cosmology, biochemistry, and artificial intelligence. But the woman passed away. Why? The facility's environment was very particular. To be brief, it had weak gravity. As a result, an illness developed within her circulatory system. My grief overwhelmed me. Two, three years passed, and the pain was as fresh as ever. So that's why the robots... I recreated Dee's appearance as best I could. I made her thought patterns match as close as possible. I spent 25 years completing her. And of course, it was impossible to perfectly replicate everything about Dee. But still, she ended up pretty close. For a robot. I named her Luna. Luna was very devoted to me. I also found that I truly loved her. Not as a woman, but more like a daughter. Do you hate me? No, I'd never. I'm just really confused. It took you 25 years to make that robot. Sigma, how old are you? I'm 67. No. You must be joking. Hey, Diana, Sigma, come here. Hmm. What is it? I've come up with a plan. A plan? Would you bring out the map, Diana? What's beyond the decontamination room? The hall for the elevator. So that would mean? If we open this door, we can get out of here? But how would we get it open? It's welded shut. Nothing less than a bomb would manage to dent it. Then, let's use one. What? Let's just use a bomb, and boom, the door will be blown away. Wait, you don't mean... If I remember right, we only need to set the timer and press the start button. Correct. Once the timer ends, the red and blue balls are released. When they both touch, that's when it explodes. Yeah. Okay. Get to it, Sigma. Huh? The two of us? We'll see you back in the lounge. W wait a second. You want me to carry it by myself? Men lift the heavy stuff. It's been the way of things since olden times. I'm the old one! But your body's 22, right? <laughs> He's like, you have to be careful moving it. Eh, okay. Fine. Those two touch early. I don't want to move it, but whatever. Well, and I won't have a way out anymore. <laughs> She's so mean. Touching. <laughs> okay. Let's go, Diana. Oh, fine. <laughs> okay. Real. Hello, Taser. Phew. All set to go. Congratulations. Who the hell made you head honcho? Call me Boss Fi. When did you get so high and mighty? 
Sins, Burris. Parents must have been real characters. Please, you two. More importantly, looks like the timer can only go up to 300 seconds. <laughs> Mistress. Five <laughs> minutes, huh? Five minutes is. Too bad Dio isn't here. He'd have five in his pocket. You're right. <laughs> Ready when you are. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. I think this is far enough. How much time is left? I'd say four minutes, thirty sec. Uh, no, twenty seconds. Five. That was the number of Junpei's bracelet. The execution. What? Yeah, the passes are tied to Diana the person who is deceased. During the vote at 1330. Wait, what are you saying? Diana chose to vote for Q team. And they change right? depending on how and when they died. I Who was jump earlier then? That was also Junpei. Zero. What you're doing right now is considered a rule infraction. You are not allowed to leave by means other than the X door. That is one of the game rules. We never heard that rule before. As such, I decided I must break the rules as well. Q team is on the other side of the decontamination room at this moment. You didn't expect me to answer, honestly. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh no. Acid. It's a powerful acid that can even melt glass or metal. How do you know that? I know because I just do. It doesn't matter. It's definitely some kind of acidic liquid. There's no way we can get inside. This is a protective suit. We can go in if we She wants to stop the bomb. <laughs> If someone gets the suit on, we won't make it in time. Come on. Let's get out of this room. There's no other way. What are you saying, Sigma? No. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'm sorry about this, Sigma. 
Holy shit! That's what the taser's for! Diana, you... Fi, I have a request. Take Sigma to the surface. I can't. So you're saying you can't do it? <laughs> I have no choice. Wait, what are you doing? This. <laughs> This <laughs> is very, very quiet. I have to hurry. <laughs> Well, she's dead. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that was, should not have been funny. <laughs> it was really funny, though. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> at least you tried. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Diana, I shouldn't laughed at I shouldn't have laughed at your tragic death, but it was <clears throat> Where's Sigma? He's still in there. Sigma! Sigma! What are you doing? Open this door! I have to do this. What do you mean? You would have tried to hold me back if I said I'd go, right? You... lie? Anyway, there's no time. You both need to get as far away as you can. Stop messing around, you're just gonna die? That's not it. It's just in case. Like, her style? Because her attitude is the same. I, will save I do like her style in this one. Because of no Sigma <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> It just ends so abruptly <laughs> Sigma hang on oh, My God We we need to get him medical attention What the fuck? Remember the ending to VLR? I'll go check the other room. This is... This is how he winds up the way he is in VLR. It's okay. The shower stopped. And the door's gone. We're getting out of here. Come on. No. Also, how the fuck, Diana? You are so strong. 
damn it. Why? This child. Why such a small child? <laughs> Calling it she's a robot hey. like Luna was. Are you all right? Why? Where are the others? I see. They're all dead. I'll be joining them soon. <laughs> Zero told us. It was you, wasn't it? You set the bomb. That's okay. You deserve something nice in return. What? What did you just inject me with? Maybe you've heard of it. That virus. Radical sex. <laughs> if someone infected with the virus was to go outside, then mankind, six billion people, will die. What did you? Well, do you like it? My present to you. Fine, wait. No. We're getting the we got the route ending. Um where Radical Six escapes. And we got an explanation as to why Future Sigma VLR Sigma looks the way he does and has fake arms. It seems this history is the one that connects to that future. Well, I guess for Fi would be the past. Diana, you must not use this lift. What are you saying? We need to get you to a hospital as soon as possible, or... Don't worry about me. No, the two of you need to get out of here. I'm the only one who should stay. There's no point. The rescue team will eventually show up if Diana and I get to the surface. And you know... They'll come down and get you, too. Then, kill me. Kill me and burn my remains. Now! Hi. There's no other way. That's the only way to keep the virus from spreading. Come on, hurry. Six billion lives are on the line. Well, you're okay. I can't. There's no way I can't do that. Diana, you, you know what you're doing, right? Yes, I do. I'm going to save you and Vi.
Oh whoa. You woo. Oh whoa. You woo. Borks to Kuval. What's happening? Thank you for the 100 bits. Six of us are. The dog dead. bits. Hey. Counting myself, there are only three left. <laughs> they were killed. Also, good job, TTS. If it worked. I, I guess you could say, I killed them. No. No, that's not quite right. Not just them. Not just these six. All of them. All six billion. Also the line. Soon, I will have killed six billion people. I suppose this was meant to be. Let's put our hope in the next Sigma. The me who will return here from the future. And, uh, that's an ending. D end one. So there you have it. We already got an ending. This game is short. That playtime, that's not inaccurate. 18 hours, this game is so much shorter than VLR. Hell, it's shorter than 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors. It's a quick one. And there's not a lot of downtime between everything. So if it goes, it goes fast. But I, I don't care. I think it's still good. I think I do think this game is still pretty good. I like it. But yeah, we got two endings. The one that we got 11 minutes in, and the one that we got almost four hours in. I don't imagine this one taking that stream, that many streams. Yeah. After that, uh, I have to think of another game to play. But we'll think, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. That's, that's not right now. So instead, let's say goodbye to you too, everybody. <laughs> Muse Dash in the meantime. A number of things. There are a couple of games I can pick from, but yeah. Fairly well, YouTube. This title menu, by the way, is actually really cool. I like it. If you save when you're in a room... <laughs> uh, the room layout will be the title menu. It's okay. We'll play more of this next week, for sure. Oh yes, goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye.